Hi Catsters, it's Dr. Karen and in the following video Clutch and the rest of the gang are going to help show you how to trim a cat's nails. Now before we do get started and if you haven't done so already because this demonstration does involve us needing to restrain our cats I would recommend that you watch our video on how to safely restrain your cat so that you are familiar with all the tips, tricks and techniques uh, to keep you and your cat safe. So Clutch has volunteered to be my model for today and if you've watched the video hopefully you will remember that it is about being friendly but firm and never using force or fear. So Clutch is fairly agreeable and I'm not using a lot of restraint. Having the towel underneath also makes him feel a bit more secure. It's important to get the restraint right because you need to be able to visualize the anatomy um, so you can see the nail bed you want to be able to see the quick and so that way you know where to safely cut your nail. If you've got your cat wrapped up in a towel or if they are clamoring to get away from you then you're not going to be able to access the claw very easily you're not going to be able to see what you're doing and that's just going to lead to more mistakes and we're going to make it that much worse the next time you attempt to do this. So just giving him a little bit of reassurance, altering my, my position to suit his comfort level as well. Um, as I'm moving him onto the around to do the other side, he's saying, yeah, I'm not happy with that position. And uh, he's actually <laughs> gone for a, a lay down. That's fine. I can work with that. We can have a lay down. That's not a problem at all. It allows me that I can still get to the nails quite safely. And it means that he's a bit happier. So again, I'm using firm restraint, but I'm not forcing him. Cyril, being our lazy cat who loves to spend most of his life laying on his back, I use a bit of a different restraint technique when I'm doing his nails. So I've sort of got him partly sit sitting on my lap and it allows me to have a really good look at his very long claws. Apparently they're well overdue to <laughs> having a trim. And this just works for him. If I try to trim his nails like I had clutch earlier, he just struggles a lot, he fidgets, he's not comfortable. Whereas this position, he kind of just sort of flops over and allows me to hold his, his paws quite happily and really get close to that quick, nice and safely. And, uh, and he's, you know, surprisingly, you can't unfortunately hear it. The, um, the, the video didn't pick it up very well, but believe it or not, he was actually purring the whole time that I was doing this. If you hold on too hard, if you wrap them too tightly, then their instinct is to fight, to flee. If you work with them, if you hold them firmly so that they feel secure, but are able to move with them and make them feel like they do have a little bit of control, you're going to be so much more successful. And hopefully your cats will be just as amenable to having their claws trimmed as mine are.